Hey guys, I'm Thumbs Up, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own portable campfire. So what you're going to need for this experiment is a, uh, a pan, two mini candles, these ones work great for the ones I'm making, uh, a soda can, and some cardboard. Let's go! Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do with your soda can, you're going to want to cut about this much off the top. So you're just going to cut around and leave this much for the top. Let me get some scissors. So get some scissors. Just like however you want to do this. And then just cut around. Once it's cut off, you see how pretty, how bad this is. <laughs> just, just trim it up a little bit to make it look nice and pretty. So the finished product should look mostly like this. All right, so it should look a little bit like this. Um, so now we're gonna take our cardboard that we've rolled up. Oh, and find enough length of cardboard. So a 7.5 ounce uh, cup takes about this much of cardboard, about an arm's length of cardboard. So, so if you're working with a really huge soda can, I recommend like two arm lengths, depending on how long your arms are, you know. But, so once you roll this up nice and tight, you open it and see where the sweet spot is. And then once you see where the sweet spot is, you're gonna make a little mark with your scissors on where to cut. Okay, and once you have that, you can unroll it and just cut it. Okay, so once you're done, uh, you just put it in there and it should auto adjust into fitting in there. Put this aside and get our candles. So you're going to want to take them out of these little casings right here. Just like so. All right, so you can choose to keep these casings or throw them away. I just throw them away. I don't really need them. So now we're going to take our pun and we're going to melt them. All right, so while our wax is melting, um, this little tab right here, you're going to want to push it up with the cardboard so it's over the thing and it doesn't go back in when you push it. And so once you do that, you're going to want to take the tab off. You can do whatever you, you want with that. And for now, you can just take the cardboard out so it doesn't bug you. And you're going to want to take some electrical tape. And this is depending if you're using the top. If you're using the bottom, you won't have to do, do this. And just tape it up good so that it stays in place and doesn't open up. You could do one on the inside too, just for extra support. So, yeah. So in the end, it should just look like this. And then you can put your cardboard back in. So you're going to want to go ahead and pour the hot wax in there. And that's why we put it on cardboard. It's all, it's leaking all out. We just need some of the wax to soak into the cardboard. So if it's, a, it's okay if um, some spills, or a lot spills, so. And then we're just gonna have to wait for this to dry. Get the last little bit on there. All right. All right, so this is all hard now. So now what you can do with your scissors, you can just start to shave it. 
make little wax shavings. And then once you have all of your excess amount of wax shaved, you can just go ahead and um, put it in a pile and then pour it in. Looks kind of like coconut. And add a little more oomph to your fire. And then, all right, so I went ahead and left this overnight to fully cure, but it should only really take uh, four hours to cure. So um, I just forgot about it last night. So let's, let's test this. All right, so that's how you make a mini campfire. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Wow, that didn't even do it. Wow.